Hello and welcome to another tutorial about how to engage and control Flatiron version 2 in your everyday work. This time we will show you how to create different unwrapping sets for the whole scene and how to use shell material for optimal workflow. As you can see, we have here a simple scene which consists of few organic formed objects and few geometric primitives. How does it work? Well, it is very simple. As first, I will select the organic shaped objects we want to unwrap later with flat iron internal optimized organic unwrapper. I will create a selection set of it and call it organic. You can name it as you like. As next, I will select all geometric primitives I would like to unwrap using Atlas unwrapping method in flat iron, which is the best for such kind of objects. I will put them into the selection sets called Geo. And as a last, I will put the ground plane in its own selection set, since it has a large area which I want to render in a good quality. In Flatiron 2, you don't need to have your object selected all the time anymore. The new engine has now a very sophisticated object management methods. The next step is to define the UV channel where the new rendered bitmap will be stored after it has been created. It wouldn't be very clever to store it back into the existing UV channel number 1, since it would overwrite and destroy the existing UV coordinates. We have 99 free UV channels in 3ds Max, we can pick any free remaining channel, for example in this case the channel number 3. And now the process starts. In the new unwrap group collection, we will define the name for this organic unwrapping method. As already mentioned, we don't want to unwrap all objects in the scene using organic way, but each with a different optimal setting. I will call this collection of bananas organic and assign it only to organic collection set we have already created. Pressing unwrap will unwrap only these bananas and we can now move to the next collection. I will name the next collection geometric since it use optimize atlas unwrapper for my edgy objects. In this collection, I will add the remaining two selection sets, the geo object selection set and the ground. This means all objects from the selection stack named geo will be unwrapped into one sheet and the ground plane will be unwrapped into the second sheet. Remember that each selection set create one UV sheet and each UV sheet will be later baked into one bitmap. Flatiron shows at the end only one unwrap preview in order to prevent screen flooding. Do not worry, all sets are already internally unwrapped and stored. You can here check your collection groups anytime. Flatiron version 2 now supports all possible materials as output collector. For this purpose I will select standard material since it works best with the Unity or Unreal real-time engine. I will toggle the self-illuminated radio button to have later 100% self-illuminated material. This is often very helpful in order to see the baked textures unaffected by the scene lights. The new Flatiron 2 comes with a long-awaited multiple render element support. This is the only render solution available on the market that can render your complete scene in multiple render elements in a single pass. In this case we are working with V-Ray, so I will use V-Ray complete map render element and target it into the diffuse color slot of our final standard material. You can add any other or many more render elements and this will be the subject of the next video tutorial. You can find it here on YouTube or on our homepage. Since we are working with many different collection groups, we will use add shell output. This is important to understand because we don't want our bake textures to replace the existing V-Ray materials while baking another selection set. Select one group and press bake. The result is optimally baked group of bananas. The real magic of the shell material option in Flatiron is that you can toggle your bake texture to be visible in the viewport and yet use the original V-Ray material for further rendering. As next we will select and render the second remaining object collection group consisting of primitives and the ground plane. After a few seconds you can admire a perfect synthetic illusion of shaders, light, GI and shadows in real time in your viewport. Flatiron 2 renames now in a logical way the output bitmaps. 
all exported bitmaps have the names of collection groups, making them easy to be identified and managed. How does all this look like in the material editor? Very simple. If I pick the current material directly from the scene, I will see the shell material. In the main slot of the shell material is still the original V-Ray material, as a kind of a backup if we want to go back and render the scene. And in the shell slot is the newly created standard material with just one map consisted of all lights and shadows. Once you are satisfied with the result, you can get rid of V-Ray materials and keep only the baked materials, for example, to export them to your real-time 3D engine. To reduce the scene to only baked materials and remove all other shaders, simply select all objects and press Keep Baked and clear the shells. What remains are clear, clean, standard materials with baked textures ready for your further production. With only a few clicks, you are now able to bake your whole scenes in countless ways, very fast and very reliable. Thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about Flatiron scene texture baking solution or get an own copy, please visit the www.texturebaking.com.